It's sunrise here at Bend. I'm at the Shiloh Inn, getting ready to walk over to the bus. It's not the same as in the mountains, but you know, it's still pretty sunrise, isn't it? And then we got all these roads and cars. But off to the bus stop. Well, I got off the bus at Union Station in Portland, and it looks like there's Tent City up ahead of me. Maybe I'll fit right in, but actually my clothes are in decent shape. I was gonna hop right on the Blue Max line, but right here there's a bunch of food trucks. And I am starving. So I'm gonna eat something, then head out. Downtown Portland, there are a lot of homeless people. And there are many that walk around with big backpacks on. I wonder if anybody here thinks I'm homeless or something. I don't know. I mean, the pack isn't big, but it's really dirty and salty. So, yeah, I bet some people think I'm homeless. Oh well. I'm gonna get on the blue line, or blue max, I guess, and <laughs> see what people think. I probably do smile a little bit though, my straps still stink. It's a video. <laughs> you can move. <laughs> That's it. I thought you were gonna do more. You were doing other stuff. Oh, now that the camera's on. You're all camera shy, huh? Oh, you were doing more. Yeah. Yeah, Parker, get up there. Well, just like my socks, it seems my backpack decided they want to stay in San Francisco longer. So, it's coming on a later flight at 7.30, so it's going to be 90 minutes. So we came to Stanford's. And we're going to have dinner. They gave me a $10 voucher, but that basically pays for half of that. <laughs> um, yeah, I kind of need my backpack for tomorrow. So we're waiting where you don't trust them to deliver them right away. You know? Who knows? All right, we're back at the trailhead at Elk Lake. This is Gavin. Hello. He helped me out. He gave me a ride to the airport, back to the air, back from the airport. And, and now we're off and it's nice and hot. So it's going to be a great day. I mean, he gets to... fine. <laughs> fine. Keep it up, man. <laughs> yeah. Can I go back home with you? And uh, he gets to drive home four hours. About, about four hours, not a big deal. Hopefully Probably it's pretty scenery, scenic. So I'm not concerned. All right. Well, thanks for everything. Bet thanks you. for all the meals. Yeah, no problem. We'll see you in Cascade Locks. Yep, we'll give you a call in about eight days. Sounds good. All right. All right. I'm back on the trail, but look. I already made a wrong turn. I was going this way. I got to get back down there and go this way. So I got to get back to the junction. I didn't even start yet. I'm making wrong turns. Oh man, I hope I get to Canada okay. I am back on Island Meadow Trail anyway. Not on a PCT yet. 
I just reminded myself, take it easy, ease it in. It has been like seven days and maybe three hours because I got off trail towards 9 a.m. on a Tuesday morning and I got back at, of course, the hottest part of the day or 1 p.m. I'm gonna try to go 15 miles today. We'll see, I'd like to get to Big Lake Youth Resort uh, and stay the night tomorrow night. But it may have to be a 30 mile day, it all depends on today. See how I feel. Feel like I'm out of breath. Been uh, spending too much time at 900 feet. Body's just going I think, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. But we're back on, we got a ULA backpack on. I rode Z-Packs, bought my pack, and I uh, sent a bunch of pictures and they sent me a new one, but it's not coming till later. But I have my ULA Catalyst. It's a little big, heavier than most people's packs here on the trail. In fact, I haven't seen any Catalysts, mostly circuits, but um, I've used it before and I'm comfortable with it, so, and it's durable enough. I think it's probably keep it for the rest of the 700 more miles to go. Only 700! And sometime in the next couple of days, we're gonna break the 2,000 mile marker. Hope I don't miss that one. So, ah, this is where I am now. There's mountains here and there. That is Bachelor Mountain over there. And I think, believe, I believe sisters. Whoa, insects are back. All right, let's get to the PCT and get to work. Thank goodness, I made it to the top. Back on the PCT. Hey, someone darkened into Elk Lake before it was like the pencil mark. And then someone used a Sharpie. But, I could feel my heartbeat going. The question was always, will seven days have refueled me and revitalized me? Or will it have made me weak and a baby? about all the mosquitoes I'll encounter soon. I don't know. Whew. It is hot. And uh, I've been in air condition a lot. Different world. It's super hazy, but I can actually see North and South Sisters ahead, but I don't know if you can on a camera. Whew. And there's Bachelor Mountain right there, right in the center. Biggie, there's snow on the other side. Can't see, there's no snow on this side, huh? South side. All right, back at it, let's hit 15 today. I finally finished the 1,000 foot climb for this morning. Well, this afternoon. It felt like it took forever. And look at the very top of this is a campsite. The trail actually goes around it. But it's pretty funny, there's a nice little campsite up there. Beautiful views, but I think I could camp out four miles today. That's pretty much all I've done so far. <sighs> Whew. Seven days off. Well, it takes takes it out of you, I think. Ah, oh, broken top. This is the south side, so there's not as much snow. The north side definitely had more snow. We drove north of there, actually, and took a look. And to the right... Uh... <laughs> I can't see what's behind those trees either, so I don't know what's going on, but uh, it's so hazy. It doesn't come in well in the camera. Here come the views. There's Broken Top in front of us a little closer. We're going straight towards it. And you can see South Sisters. It's hard to see on camera, but it's right there. It's a very prominent peak. It looks tiny on camera. I don't see North Sisters, probably because the haze. Even South Sisters is a little hazy, but you should be going right by him. Hey, and there's a hiker down there way below. Can you see him? <laughs> right to the right of the trail. Look at all those rocks on the bottom. It just kind of makes a wall along the side of the trail. 
There's a good breeze earlier, but I think all this is gonna block it soon. There's someone in front of me, and I can't catch him because I'm all tired and petered out, and there's someone behind me. He's gonna catch me soon. Over here, it's all just super hazy. You can only see the profile of this cool rock here. But, still in this meadow. Because of the haze though, the sun's actually not too strong and there's a decent breeze, so it's not too hot. There's a guy over there. He's gonna catch up. Look at this sign. It survived the fire. Is it because the horseshoe is facing up? Holding the luck in? A little charred, but still working just fine. It's so awesome when you could see progress by seeing things get closer and closer. And that was Broken Top we saw from far away. And now I'm next to it, and I'll be passing it soon. Over here is South Sisters. Or South Sister, I guess. We got a big chunk of snow in the middle. You can see it really clearly now. I wonder where North Sister is. I wonder when we'll be able to see it. Look how sharp the tip is. <laughs> oh, it's so prominent. Broken Top is so colorful. It's crazy. There's like a caldera on the right that where it blew off or sunk or something. But look on the left, there's that huge red chunk with brown dirt on top. And it's snow. You know, it's just color contrasts make the difference. This is just a dry creek bed. But look at these rocks right here. Aren't they awesome? Look at those layers. I love it when rocks are just in sheets. Yeah, it's so interesting. And the trail is right above. Hey, just hiking along, bunch of trees in the way. Oh, look, Sister South. Nice and clear. The meadow in front. It'd be perfect if there was a herd of elk just walking across. My jabbering probably isn't helping. <laughs> but it'd be awesome if it did. There is Reese Lake. I thought about camping here. It's only going to be a 14 mile day if I camp here. Yeah, there's someone over by the lake. Look at a view from there though, a broken top. Can't see Sister South though, it's behind the trees. But the campsite is right here. So tempting to set up and call it a night, huh? It's only like 7.20. So I'm gonna go 1.3 more. Cause 1.3 doesn't sound like a lot. But that's 1.3 less I gotta hike tomorrow to get to Big Lake Youth Camp. Sun's a setting. Probably got about an hour of sudden light, sort of light anyway. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go 1.3 instead of 28. I get to like 26.7 tomorrow, which is still better than 28, so it's worth it. Look at all that snow. And the sun is descending on broken top now. I can see why it's called Broken Top. The top is really messed up. It's pretty cool looking. It's unique, that's for sure. But look at all that snow. And today is almost at an end. The sun set behind that little peak there. Look how pretty the colors are already. I like the profile of peaks. 